research to be done, um, which uh, I think is really uh, pretty interesting uh, because um, one of their areas is boundary crossing, which is huge. It is so important because CMC has allowed us in ways never before to cross boundaries that we did not used to cross. Um, and it can be good, it can be bad, it all sort of depends. Um, of course we live in a fairly, um, our society is becoming I think less formal. Um, but, um, and, and oftentimes crossing boundaries and not having boundaries also beats back uh, you know, some of the um, hegemony of, of hierarchy in, in the first place. Um, but you got to be careful because you know, I let uh, you know students be friends with me on Facebook and stuff like that. But there's there's always um, they talk about physicians uh, in there and um, <laughs> what happens? Come when your doctor was on Facebook and you constantly uh, contacted her. So <laughs> I got a bellyache. <laughs> doctor, it hurts when I do this. <laughs> um, so you always got to be uh, careful about stuff like that. And then identity as, as privacy. And it just talks more about uh, impression management. And there's so many tips out there uh, about that that you can go find on, on the web. But just remember, um, everything is going to be with you. I mean, and, and colleges are now looking at Facebook stuff. I mean, some, some high schools are requiring people to, to give them their Facebook. It's ridiculous. But... Um, so people are going to be judging you, not just by your face-to-face -face communication these days, but, but again, by the stuff that you put all over the place. And so, and some of this stuff, some of these selfies um, that might be haunting you for the rest of your life because it never goes away. So be very, very careful about how you uh, try to manage your identity um, and how other people might, might see you. Um, that's, that's, that's a big, important lesson. 17 is not in your book, um, but it is a, the big critical picture. And it, it comes from, I finally found that other book. This is another book that I used to use, um, Computer Mediated Communication, Social Interaction and the Internet. That's where that, uh, that Pierre Bardou uh, stuff comes from um, by Thurlow, Legal, and Tomic. And they talk about this larger idea of autonomy. Um, and it, it, it ties closely to the, the communication uh, uh, privacy management theory. But we do want to have ownership over our private information. But it is so tough to do so in the online setting and generally in this larger sort of virtual mediated culture in which we live. And part of what they argue um, is that privacy problems, it's, it's a little bit more complicated than some of those sort of relational things that our book talks about because there's some technical aspects about pro programming codes and everything like that that ha has allowed folks to get our data, particularly uh, by marketing folks and advertisers and stuff like that because ultimately the web is a business. Um, social networking sites are businesses. Um, they are trying to make money. Um, and so they actually call this whole thing the corporate colonization of the web. Um, and I think this is a huge point that we should never uh, lose sight of. Um, so there, it's, it's, it's bigger than just some of the, uh, the things that, that our book talks about from my perspective, my more my critical perspective. And there's tons of stuff going on right now in, in, in 2014. I mean, this book was written about 10 years ago, and that's why I don't use it anymore um, because it's a little bit dated, but some of the stuff that they have in there is still very, very relevant. If you haven't heard about the whole uh, net neutrality issues going on or debates going on. There's some stuff pending in Congress, I think, right now uh, that's really, really important. And so I give you another link there, um, also from that same uh, Electronic Frontier Foundation, if you want to learn more about the issues of net neutrality and uh, corporate colonization. 
uh, because I do think that stuff is very, very important. Um, so I know this is hard to uh, unpack, um, and it's very, very theoretical. Uh, so I'm hoping, though, that you can find some practicality uh, out of it. Remember that you need to have uh, one tweet uh, to me, um, one blog um, to me, and a professional email to me by 5 p.m. Sunday. And, and one of the things I'm asking you to do with the uh, blogs um, is to try to apply this stuff to your own life. How does this impact, uh, how, how does reading this chapter, watching this lecture, looking at my silly little PowerPoint, how has it asked you um, or invited you to think about um, privacy issues and how you tend to uh, disclose information uh, online? And Because that's really the, the big picture. The very last slide, as I say, I have much more to say about corporate colonization and net neutrality. But I'm going to keep that to myself. That's going to be private uh, because I could get into trouble if I got on my soapbox. Um, sorry this was a little bit long-winded. I um, uh, hope you have a wonderful weekend. Uh, please uh, email me if you have any questions about anything at all. Uh, I've heard from a, a lot of you about the uh, uh, Twitter accounts and the Tumblr accounts, but not everybody. Um, so please uh, keep on giving me that information. Take care. Have a, a wonderful weekend, and uh, let me know how I can help. Bye-bye.